Say so we're reacting to growing up with strict parents. Let's go. I will tell you how it is growing up with strict parents. You think your parents are strict? I, I'm literally <laughs> Indian, bro. Like, the only reason why I think my parents are strict is when I went oh. over to my friend's house and met their parents. You were allowed to go oh. to your friend's house? Your parents didn't even let you go visit your friends? Oh, no, they're like, oh, mm. you're gonna go there, you're gonna, you're gonna start nording some stuff or something. Yeah, yeah you're gonna get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get stabbed. <laughs> to be fair, my mom thought the same well, thing. for story purposes, I would call this friend Bob. I love like, Bob. I would always ask my parents to drive me over to, my, uh, to Bob's house to hang out. Everything was normal. We would, like, hang out. We would play basketball for like five minutes, and then we would go inside and play video games for about like 20 hours. Was it Among Us? We, we usually played so long that like the sun was rising the next day. Like our eyes were literally melting in our skull. Well, what were you playing? Black Ops 2? Fortnite? <laughs> there was no Fortnite. Bob, you're so young. <laughs> Bob is like five years old. All he knows is Fortnite and Among Us. <laughs> uh, Clash of Clans? I'm talking like... Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Oh, I remember oh. that game. Yeah. Like, Those games are good. For me, this was fantastic because back at home, my parents were the type of people where I could only play a game for like 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes? minutes. Yeah, it's like they, they were that strict. Loading in GTA 5. Exactly, right? It takes 30 <laughs> minutes just to load up the game. And they're also the type of people where after those 30 minutes, they say to pause the game. Uh, you can't pause the game, Bob. Oh it's online. Exactly. I think those are all parents. Like, every single parent has told their child to pause the game. Well, we're back at Bob's place. Oh. Who doesn't like scrambled eggs? Bob was oh, like, shoot. Minutes. they say to pause the the game. Oh, you can't pause the game, me. Bob. It's online. Exactly. I think those are all parents. Like, that every dude. single parent has told their child to pause the game. Well, mm -hmm. we're back at Bob's place. It's the morning of the next day. We haven't even went to bed or anything. You got a slumber party? Bob's mom was making us scrambled eggs, which was really nice. Thanks, Bob's mom. Bob didn't think so. <laughs> oh. Who doesn't like scrambled eggs? Bob was like, I don't want no scrambled eggs. I want mac and cheese. And I was like thinking, what? who wants mac and cheese for breakfast? All right, that's a lunch item. Oh, that's true. Do you know what I ate for breakfast, bro? I ate aluka parata, man. You don't even know what, what? that is. What? I don't even know what that is. You said it too fast. What is that? Aluka parata. Say it in parts. Alu, aluka parata. A parata. Yes. <laughs> Good. So Bob's mom was like, but I made the eggs. You need it. You need to eat it for your vitamins. And this is where it changed up. Bob raised his voice. He said, I don't want it. Uh-oh. Oh, what a annoying little crap. You know how awkward it is for me? I'm just sitting over there, you know? Bob and Bob's mom, they're looking at each other. The tension oh, is right. I'm like the third wheel here. He's hands. raising his voice to his mom. But if I were to raise my voice to my parents, mom would be with a wooden spoon and be like, I like your cut. <laughs> and it would have been done. My mom did it with a cricket bag. What? Do you need uh, to tell us something? There's nothing bad, okay? I took it like a champ. That was one like. Just the one oh, Bob's from mom God. said this. Bob, eat your scrambled eggs. I don't want to hear another word from you. And Bob said this. You dumb B word. <gasps> ah! Okay. What? He called his own mom the B word. Everyone's what? mouth drops. All right. My mouth drops. All right. It's hitting the table. Oh my God. Oh. It's the table okay? And here's exactly. the thing. I didn't Is understand. Okay? She didn't even get angry. Mrs. Bob actually went back to the kitchen and started making something else. What? what? If I ever said something like that to my parents, I don't even think I could imagine. I wouldn't be here with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> she would have turned around super slowly. I would have seen the gates of the underworld in her eyes. I would have awakened oh. a great beast. She would probably remove my limbs and then ship me to Brazil. I would never know because that never happened because I've never reached that, you know, stage of life. You got you early access though. Here was another reason why I thought my parents were strict, and it was from school. I can tell you right now, I was not the best kid. Well, smart, maybe, but I was a clown. A clown. Wow. <laughs> I was the type of guy, when I asked my teacher, can I use the bathroom? The teacher was like, I don't know, can you? And I was like, I can. Oh, and I wow. would stand up you, you and I would back? be in front of everybody. Are you sure you want to put this Dang. information on the internet, bro? <laughs> what grade was this? Like high school? You would just This was fifth oh, grade. Okay. This was fifth grade, all right? <laughs> it's not like I would do something that extreme. Dude, this was yesterday, I swear. I didn't do anything that extreme, but like I said, I was, you know, I was always goofing around. Bit of a goofball. Shut up, Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was in cafeteria, I wanted to impress all my friends. I was gonna show them a magic trick. The lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna 
make the milk out of my carton disappear. Oh. You know those little cartons of milk? I was gonna make the milk out of that disappear. I like the chocolate one. I took the carton behind my back. I said this. Three, two, one. And I squeezed the carton as hard as I could. And it just blew milk everywhere. Uh, Sucks. What? Oh my god. What? Why? Why? That's a good idea. Milk was everywhere. All right, you would think such a tiny carton would have such little impact, but no. It was a nuclear score streak. It took out six, seven, go ten kids in the cafeteria table. <laughs> Bodies are falling on the floor. There was no way they could avoid People it. screaming. Fire alarm going up. There was no way to dodge it, all right? Many lives were lost that day. I had to what? bury my fellow comrades, okay? I had to close their eyes. <laughs> oh, God. But that's when everyone started complaining, and it was getting loud. Everyone, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're whining, whining little baby. I don't know if, if, if this is related to you guys. The teacher came over and gave us a red cup. I don't know if you guys had this in your school. A but, red cup? Yeah, a red cup. What? Which means if they, if your cafeteria gets a red cup, you're not allowed to talk for the, the rest of the, the lunch period. Wait, what? what? That makes no sense. Why can't you talk to him? No, not during a red cup. There was three different cups. You had a you had a green cup where you could talk, a yellow uh, cup where you could talk like, uh, like whispering, and a red cup. You couldn't talk at all. We got the red right. cup, okay? Yo, my man just got server muted. <laughs> <laughs> they got server muted in real yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> Probably asking why am I telling the story? Because after that, some kids rattled me out. Oh, Snitch. Little snitches. <laughs> because the teachers were asking who was causing all this commotion in the first place. I was showing true magic. Why not I just appreciate my art? They're just jealous. They were just mm -hmm. jealous of your magic skills. I'm so tired for you, Sug. So basically, they ratted me out. The, the teacher sat me down. You know it's serious. Before you get sit down, they call you by your full name. No. Socks for one. <laughs> First, middle, and last name. Socks for one. She brought me into her room. And I already didn't have a good relationship with this woman because it wasn't the first time I was in this room, all right? It was at least once a week. Socks bad boy confirmed. She was babbling, you know, the same stuff that I need to show a good example to the other kids. I can't keep doing this. What's my credit card information? You know, what? usually. Wait, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's when something different happened. Ever so slowly, move this piece of paper across the desk. Okay, this piece of paper. What is it, a medical degree? It was, oh. it was something that was real, me It was dreams. something that was real, all right? Oh. In my mind, I was like, what is he doing? Is she throwing like a pop quiz on me? What kind of subject is this? And then the teacher said this. You need to get this signed by your parents. Exactly in that tone? Exactly in that tone. No, I, in my mind, I was like, woman, who do you think you are? I was showing my best magic trick mm -hmm. in the entire world. People would praise me for this one day. You should be the one getting a paper slip. On the yep. bus ride home, I don't know how to describe it. Have you ever yep. felt like you were thoughts. being punched a billion times in like a WWE cage yeah. by yeah. The Rock? No, I, I, I never what? had that feeling, uh, man. You should get the no. check down. I can't relate. Really. You know, I was thinking on the ride home, why don't I just forge the signature? Mm -hmm. no. You know? Oh, yeah. no. No. There's only one problem with Okay, I couldn't even write my own name in person. I'm doomed. My parents, on the other hand, they had this like super cool whip when they signed things. And while me, on the other hand, people couldn't even read my normal print writing. There was only one thing I could do. It was to give my mom the paper slip and show what I did. Mom, I'm home. Welcome home. I made us dinner. I hope you like spaghetti. Uh, what's wrong? I didn't even say anything to her yet. Yet she knew something was up. How? Well, this witch. <laughs> I, I said this. I need you to sign this piece of paper so they can let me on a field trip. A field trip? <laughs> Are you even <laughs> trying? Do I even uh, realize that she knows smacked. how to read? So you just gave her the paper just like that? You told her this is for a field trip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Give it here. She takes it out of my hands and starts reading it over. Oh, wow. In my mind, it's all over. It's so I will awkward. have to move to Japan. <laughs> I will start a new life. Your whole life just flashed before your eyes. <laughs> you can see her smile just slowly disappearing as her eyes just go lower and lower on the paper, right? Oh, God. I need to start packing. What do I need to survive? My Nintendo. For sure. A granola bar. I don't know, man. I've never done this before, okay? Make sure you have toilet paper, man. That's, that stuff is necessary. I, I just, just realized I ran out of it. She raised her face 
from the paper. She stared into my soul. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Just, just finish me off, okay? I can't take it anymore, woman. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Mortal Kombat <laughs> moved in. She said literally nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing. Complete silence. And this is when I knew it was all over. For all you fellow kids that don't understand the parent anger chart, let me show yeah, you something, all right? So first, at level one, there is a noise. This is when you tick off your parents, probably because you were doing something dumb. Then, yep. there is when they raise their volume. This is when they're angry, but not yet screaming. You know, just mm -hmm. like a loud voice. Then there's 40 other stages. <laughs> and at the very top, there's complete silence. This is just above literal death that's where you we're at right now right so you're asking what happened next well all i can tell you is that it made me a better person and this is where i am today <laughs> well make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next